Did you know? And if not, you might want to now. It's National <laughs> Be a Millionaire Day. Okay, Been there, done that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I will. Check. All right. The day celebrates the idea of being a millionaire. Oh. Apparently, it's also a day to begin taking some steps to perhaps turn your dreams into reality by making plans for your future. Yeah. Okay. Here's a few helpful suggestions to get you started. One, open a savings account. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah. know. Okay, I did that. Uh, two, review financial portfolio. Okay. Review your investments. Uh, I'm already lost. I <laughs> Add money to your 401k. Wow. Well, uh, pay off your credit cards. I've done that. Check. And then review your spending habits. Uh, yeah, it's like <laughs> re review them. I if mean. you save one dollar every day for mm -hmm. a million days, yeah, you yeah. are one million dollars. I've reviewed time. my husband's spending habits. Oh yes, check on that. Now mine. <laughs> See, this is where it I'm all goes wrong. <laughs> Because it's not the husband's spending habits. We spend our money on pointless things, maybe a drink at the gas station here and there. Uh, or like and sure enough, day. here comes walking in the wives with some new extravagant thing that they purchased. <laughs> They're like, I can't believe you spent money at the gas station again. And it's like, well, you have this $80 bag on your side. Like, exactly. Necessary. But now here's the thing: Can you not just go to the big to the store and get mm -hmm. a pack of those drinks? Like, no, because be I like, need the yeah, little slight yeah, enjoyment of walking oh, in and so getting what I want in the moment I want it. Cody, you're both wrong. Instant gratification. We'll ask Nicole. We'll see That's right. Comment. Retail therapy, our director says. You can uh, celebrate <laughs> if you want this whole idea of being a millionaire by using the hashtag Be a Millionaire Day. So there, <laughs> Cody. I'm <laughs> upset now. <laughs> We've ruined the holiday for Cody. Oh, we'll move on. Hey, fish in the sea had a lot more to worry about than Jaws 50 million <laughs> years ago. Would you believe saber tooth anchovies? Yeah. That's that little guy in the middle there. Really good on yeah. pizza. Scientists found fossils showing these versions of the anchovies roamed the ocean 41 to 54 million years ago using a CT scan. What? Researchers discovered multiple things in the fish's lower jaw. That's uh, amazing. Yeah, and then it has one saber tooth there up top. Uh, Let's just call it a snaggle tooth. That's, yeah. uh, like. that's kind of funny. That's true. Radar, CT scans, it's amazing what you can find in the ocean and how much we don't know no about what's kidding. down there. Ooh. I almost um, don't want to know a lot of things. I, yeah. I mean, I'll say there's, there's some crazy stuff going on in the bottom of the what, ocean. Ugh. What was the thing eating that? Was it an ichthyosaur? Was that right? Or at least a type of ichthyosaur? Ichthyosaur. Ichthyosaur, okay. Some uh, type. I mean, not the exact. We don't want to offend wow. ichthyosaurs. Right. You know, but we'll just leave it there. That general. It's a type. A sore, Still a mystery there. Something apparently. a sore soaring through the ocean. Well, <laughs> according to Science Magazine, <laughs> it's believed, <laughs> thanks to resident scientists, anyways, um, it's believed that these teeth were used for hunting, of course. What else? And saber toothed anchovies evolved after dinosaurs were extinct, then became extinct themselves before modern humans appeared on Earth. Uh, by the way, we have our own special GDK version of the same yes. anchovy. Behold this. <laughs> it's dry. so much scarier. Bobby, <laughs> our director Bobby, drew this. No way. Yeah. Isn't he talented? Bobby, where you been with this? Art and then skills this he whole time. edited it after the morning show because he thought it didn't have the right fins, so it would just latch onto things <laughs> and just get drug around. <laughs> the way it's bouncing around, I feel like it's definitely coming for us. Look at like, the eye. <laughs> the precision and detail. Nicely he he done, jotted Bobby. this down. I don't know how long it took him, but it, it couldn't have been long because he just showed up with it. It was like in the morning show, right? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh that's amazing. Uh, Bobby, you need to draw Hump Day Henry. The, yeah, that's true. <laughs> he needs help. The no, thing the about the anchovy, though, and the reason it probably went extinct, because uh -huh. it's hard to chew when you only have one tooth on top. Snaggle tooth. Yeah. So. How did he chew? I like, don't know. Oh, maybe pierce him. Hey, just there like could stab him with that snaggle tooth. Yeah, and then, and then just, just gulp him down. Maybe. I don't know. That's eerie. There could be a fun way to meet up with friends for happy hour in the future and still be socially distant. Fishtails Pub in Ocean City, Maryland, has bought these bumper tables for customers to use once bar and restaurants are allowed to reopen. I wonder how great some are struggling. Are. Yeah, a good friend of mine <laughs> is from Ocean City. Wow. Oh, these tables, guys, they're custom made. You can see within an inner tube and wheels, and then it guarantees you to keep customers six feet apart from each other. There's that. <laughs> uh, customers, you just stand in the middle, but you're still able to, as you can see, walk around and chat while maintaining that safe social distance from others. I have to be honest, um, I'm afraid to touch some grocery carts. Sometimes they look so nasty, so I wonder like how well these are clean. But yeah. I, I, I do love the idea. This is cute and it's funny. One of the owners said they've gotten an incredible reaction so far and are in talks with other businesses to produce bumper tables for them. 
hear me out. Tables. What if huh. you made the middle part there like a stove, and then you could cook your own food on it? Like hibachi. Yeah, yeah. Hibachi like its own stuff. hibachi grill around you. I would be down for that. All right, pretty cool. Tubes. All right, just a reminder, our annual St. Jude Dream Home giveaway, it is still going strong. Yeah, when you purchase your ticket, you'll be entered to win this $400,000 home under construction right now in the Home Place subdivision off Polo Club Boulevard in the Hamburg area. What a beauty, right? Yeah, it's got four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a walkout. Unfinished basements, a luxury master suite, and a vaulted great room. Raffle tickets are only 100 bucks each, guys, and you can buy them at dreamhome.org. Right now, purchase your tickets, too, before Sunday, June 7th, to be eligible to win our early bird prize. It's this, a Cal Spa's Patio Ooh. Series four-person lounge spa. Nice. Wow, that sounds nice. As an added bonus, purchase your tickets before Sunday, August 9th, to be eligible to win a John Deere Ooh. Z Track mower. <laughs> yeah, you one of those. We've all been talking about it. The drawing for the home and all of the great prizes, August 13th. That's going to be live here on ABC 36. You can buy literally as many tickets as you want. And obviously, the more tickets you buy, better, better chance. chances. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, dreamhome.org. Do it. Dreamhome.org. Final check of that forecast. All righty, guys. We're looking at temps in the low 60s today, actually drying out a little bit. So, not doing too bad in the weather department as compared to yesterday. But we are still expecting some rain showers to hit eastern Kentucky this afternoon, which could cause some flooding of those local rivers and, and roadways. So, just take it easy on the roads. There's tons of standing water out there still. And we are finally going to return back to normal on the temperatures as we start off next week. 80s. Yay. Ooh, baby. What's the likelihood that a saber tooth anchovy is still around? Like in the I ocean. mean, who knows? Like, what's at the bottom of the There's ocean? There's anchovies somewhere. How do we know they're extinct? That's true. No? There are anchovies. There could be a saber tooth anchovy. I'm not going back. And to the what water other saber tooth no. creatures are there? No. Saber tooth jellyfish. Earmuffs. Thanks for joining us. Oh, nope, nope, nope. you never know.